it's a morning. Uh, got busy working, doing stuff. Almost forgot to go live. <laughs> Oh, isn't that just how it goes? Hey, everybody. Uh, thank you guys so much for stopping by today. I am very excited about the cards we're going to be creating today here on my channel. Now, if you guys have been following me every Thursday, I come on live with you. And last Thursday was going to be making today. Oh, my goodness. I think you guys are excited about this. So we're going to be creating a slimline card. Very fun to create slimline cards um, because this is, it's such a hot trend right now. They're really a lot of fun. I decided to take it up a notch. and We're going to do a funful slimline card. So I think you're going to really enjoy this one. I've got two versions to share with you. One with the designer series paper and one with some homemade designer series paper. So uh, I've got Brenda on live with me out there in Idaho. So welcome, Brenda. She's my moderator. She's on there chatting with you guys that are on live. So um, it's kind of fun because I get a chat with her before we start too. It's fun to have coffee with your best friends. So hi, Brenda. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, we're going to get started. Um, and uh, Brenda has shared the... Um, link to my free download and yes the diagram for the uh that goes along with it um if you're not if you don't see it just look down in the youtube description there's a direct link that'll take you to my blog post today that's where you'll see photos and and uh i mean the measurements and all there but you can grab the free download look for that great big blue button my pretty tiffany blue button click it and you can get the download it's a two-pager because we've got the uh, measurements and the supply list and then your diagram. Okay, are you ready? Let's head over to my stamping table and create. Oh my goodness. So there's that download I just mentioned to you. Like I said, it is a two pager. So we've got our diagram. You'll have a picture. There's all the supplies, measurements, all that good stuff. So uh, let's go ahead and talk about what we need to create the cards. Well, I guess I should like show you the cards first uh this is oh you're gonna love it guys it's a one sheet wonder too isn't that awesome so uh it's got a little belly band on it and look at that voila isn't that fun i love it and this is the one that i did with the homemade designer series paper that's the one we're actually going to make today so you see there's the spot for my message but look totally hidden so you can write without worrying about going off and then we have our cute little belly band that will just slide right on there and uh, this one i'll go ahead and show it to you i'll show it at the end as well uh this one i used um the stamp set good feelings this is one of the brand new ones i've been using it a lot i love big stamps and i cannot lie i love great big stamps um that just kind of take up a lot of space <laughs> make things look great look at this gorgeous designer series paper I'm going to show you a trick with that here in a little bit too and yep that's got a belly band on it sending sunshine and good feelings your way in some gorgeous purples okay belly band work with me would you there we go stubborn stubborn all right so that is my slimline fun fold like i said we're going to create this one so uh let's talk about the supplies that we need you're going to love it that's what we need not a whole lot so like i said it's a one sheet wonder uh i'm going to use calypso coral today eight and a half by 11 so standard card size there i have got a piece of basic white cardstock that is seven inches by eight and a quarter now guys if you're doing this with designer series paper your designer series paper will be seven by eight and a quarter but like i said we're going to make our own remember we're going to make homemade designer series paper today. So I'm gonna use basic white for that. You're gonna need two more pieces of basic white. Uh, let's see, this piece is a three by eight and a quarter. That's where we're gonna have our message. And uh, this piece here is actually for my little focal image on the front, so it can be some scrap, but about two and a quarter by three and three quarters. Guys, all we need, okay. Well, I'll tell you what, let's work on the fun fold part first, okay? We're gonna take that eight and a half by 11. I'm gonna bring in my paper trimmer. And the first thing we want to do is we want to, I'm gonna bring in my diagram so I can show you. It says you're gonna cut off three quarters by eight and a half. So that means with the 11 inches up at the top, cause that's eight and a half, we're gonna cut off three quarters of an inch. That 
is our belly band. Okay, so let me set that off to the side because now we have a piece of cardstock um, that is, oh, I don't know, what is that? Uh, 10 and a quarter <laughs> by eight and a half. So I got that 10 and a quarter up at the top. And now we are going to score. Ready? We're going to score at one and a quarter. So let's put this at one and a quarter. Make sure you're not cutting. Get that cutting blade out of your way. Naughty, naughty cutting blade. One and a quarter. Then we're going to come down to two and a half. Go down to two and a half. Oops. Did you see what I just did? Did you? I did. I almost grabbed it. Two and a half. Then we're going to go down to four and three quarters and score. One more. I'm going to have to bring out my arm for this one and seven inches. That's it. That's not too bad, right? Okay, I'm not gonna let this get too far away from me because we're gonna be cutting up our paper as well. So let me set this off to the side and we are, and I'm done with my diagram because there we go. We scored one and a quarter, two and a half, four and three quarters and seven. Easy peasy, double cheesy. Okay, let's create some homemade designer series paper. I'm gonna bring in my big grid paper for this one because we're gonna do some crazy stamping. Uh, I'm going to use a stamp set called Dahlia Days. Um, Brenda, can you check for sure? But I'm almost positive this one is from the mini catalog. So I think this one will be going away uh, on June 1st, right? Yeah. Anyway, fabulous stamp. Look at those great uh, fonts. So this is a stamp set we're going to use. By the way, this one does come. Uh, if you want to, you can order it as a bundle so you can get this great set of dies with it. So you've got flowers, you've got leaves, you've got stems, you've got this fabulous, huge image. I'm actually going to use this one today because it's going to go along with my sentiment for the front of my card. All right. So to make your own designer series paper, um, whenever I do this, I like to start with my biggest stamp first. Okay. So the flower, the dahlia, is my biggest stamp. We're going to bring in some polished pink. And we are going to randomly stamp. That's why you want to have grid paper underneath you, because we're going to be all over this paper. OK, let's pretend I've done that all over the paper. <laughs> so there's the polished pink. Don't put everything away yet, because you might need to come and fill in. Now, you're going to want to come in with your next biggest stamp. How about Parakeet Party? Oh, my goodness. I love green. It is one of my favorites, and I love how bright this green is. And look what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the leaves, and I'm going to just kind of look to see where I need to fill in. Now, I'm going to have some more uh, stamps to go in here, so I don't have to go crazy, but I do really want this to be nice and full. We want to get as much white stamped in. Does that make sense? We just want some really great, we'll stop right there. Okay, so there is my parakeet party. Do you guys love that one? I hope you guys are loving the new in colors. I know I am. They are fantastic. Brenda says it's such a pretty color. I know it's so bright. It's just perfect for summer. Uh, now I'm going to bring in some daffodil delight and this smaller flower. I'm going to fill in some more. If it overlaps on something, even better. It's all good. So you can see this is just an opportunity to kind of fill in. All right. So you kind of see where I'm going there. One more color. We've still got one more stamp. So let's bring in that Calypso Coral to match our cardstock. And we have this wonderful little set of flowers. And look at this. First of all, it gives some great burst of color, and this really helps me fill in what I like to call the bulb spots. We get those, right? So we just fill in. By the way, you'll, you'll do all of this. I just kind of wanted to give you a, an idea of how that goes together. Remember I said don't close up any of your ink pads? Because if you needed to get something on an edge or something on a corner or something, you wanna be able to do that. Okay, 
through the magic of television, I have that done. <laughs> Don't you guys love it? Yep, we're all ready to go with our homemade designer series paper. But you know what? Before I put everything away, um, I'm going to bring in this polished pink. Oh, you know what? I, there's my black ink pad. I was like, oh, no, I think I forgot my black ink pad. It's just hiding. So we're going to stamp the uh, little label there in polished pink. And then I'm going to take my black, pardon me while I reach because it got ahead of me there. And for this, we're going to say thank you for your kindness. And it fits just perfectly in there. All right. Don't let this get too far away because we'll have to stamp the inside. All right. So with our die, our matching die, we can now go die cut that. All right. So magic television done. Okay. My friends, can you believe it? We're ready to put a card together. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to cut our homemade designer series paper. Again, if you were using uh, designer series paper, you would be cutting on that. So it's time to bring that paper trimmer back in. Okay. So we want the seven inches at the top. Okay, so that's the shorter, this eight and a quarter. And if you're not sure, you can just do this. It, it should be fitting up at the top and the bottom of your, your cardstock. So this part is really important. <laughs> All right, when we, when we cut this, and I'm going to show this to you first, because I want to make sure uh, you understand. I'm going to give you measurements that go in a certain order. Don't try to go off of that, because do you see how my pattern continues? My flowers touch and match up. Well, we want that. So make sure when you're doing your cutting that you're you're following. Um, I've got that there. Uh, and Brenda, I think you're going to put that up too. Um, that you're following the cutting correctly. So are you ready? We're going to start with a one inch strip. And I'm going to set this off to the side. Another one inch strip. It's really easy, I'm telling you, it's not even difficult cutting at all. Again, keeping them in order, it's gonna make things easier later. Now we need a two inch strip. There's a two, putting it in order. And another two inch strip. And that's gonna leave us, uh, it's gonna leave us another one inch. So there is all my cutting. I'm curious if anyone is working along with me. I always love it when you guys create with me. I mean, it's so much more fun to create with friends. So there is my homemade designer series paper. It's all cut. Let me slide that out of the way. And I'm now going to bring in, this was the uh, Calypso Coral that we scored. And we're going to come in with our bone folder and give this a crease. And we're just going to accordion fold. So fold back. And back. Isn't this a great card? And I didn't bring one over here. I'm so sorry, but Stampin' Up! does have uh, slimline envelopes that this will fit into. Um, and if you don't have those, uh, a standard business uh, business number 10 envelope, that will work too. So you've got options on how to mail this. All right, I, real quick, let me just lay these out. So you can kind of see this is what we're gonna do. This last piece is gonna go on this side. We're gonna set that over there for just a minute. I'm gonna adhere all these down and I'm gonna do my best to read some comments while I do this, see what you guys are talking about. Uh, so I don't know what you guys are doing this weekend, but I'm going camping. I'm so excited. We got our camper out. If you guys have followed me for a while, you know, Mr. Austin and I, we love, to get out in our RV. I call it my vacation home. <laughs> uh, when you work from home, it's really nice to get away. So we got our camper set up last week and uh, we decided to go ahead and just leave it for the week. And so we could go back again tonight. All right, I'm about to lay down the next one. You notice you wanna make sure before you lay down the next one that you're paying attention to your pattern. Cause see, I want that to line up. So we'll put that one down. So uh, I actually had somebody email me the other day and they said, 
they they knew we camped a lot. They said, so are you taking Tugger camping? Is he ready to go camping? No, he is not ready to go camping. He is still a very busy six-month-old puppy. So no, he is not going to be joining us. But my girls will come and stay at the house because it's just easier on the dogs. It's not as stressful for them. Making sure I'm lining up there. It's not as stressful when they're at home. And I just think they're better off. So I, I said something to my daughter the other day. And I said, I, I hate that I, you know, always have to ask you guys to come and stay with the dogs. I feel bad. And Christina says, Mom, you have all the streaming services. You have a hot tub. You have a jetted tub. And you have a well-stocked fridge and pantry. I love to come to your house. Okay. Well, that works for me. <laughs> so, yeah. So it's good to know that my girls are happy about coming. All right, this is our last piece. Remember, this is at three by eight and a quarter. I'm gonna go ahead and add this to that last panel. And let me tell you, if you're doing this with designer series paper, oh my goodness, this goes so fast. But I just really wanted to show you how to make your own. Um, I think it's fun to make your own just kind of adds a little bit more creativity to a card. I love designer series paper, but I also like a little DIY there. Okay, so my last strip, and I can see that's how it's gonna go. We're gonna add this right along the edge of that uh, white cardstock that we just laid down. Super easy. Just line it up on the edge. I said I was gonna try to read comments. My friends, I'm not that gifted. <laughs> Just try to read and stamp. Uh, oh, Rhonda just asked me if I could make the slimline envelope. You know, I'd have to play with that one. Uh, I've never tried to make a slimline envelope. You know, I suppose you could just take an envelope apart and make a template. Uh, so I think that would work. Uh, for the inside of my card, oops, I got a little goopy there. Let me stamp off here. Sometimes I tap too hard and that's a juicy ink pad. You are beyond incredible. And that, my friends, will fit right there. Yay, isn't that so cute? Okay, now we're gonna show you how to work with the belly band because we got a belly band here. I gotta make sure that's dry. Have you guys ever done that? Your ink pad's a little juicy and you close it up. Now you have the mirror image of your beyond incredible. Let me do this. This is my other tip. Give it a little back rub. Okay, it's dry. I can close it up. It doesn't take long, but I always have that fear that, you know, I'm gonna get black inside there. Okay, so we're gonna fold up our card. And on your belly band, we are going to wrap it around. Now I'm gonna wrap this. Let's see if I can remember how I did that. I think I did it about there in the center, the center seam. Keep this a little loosey goosey, okay? We don't want this to be really tight. We want to be able to slide it off. So don't don't go crazy with making it super tight. So you can see, I'm just kind of I'm going to give that a little stretch. Let me test it. Yeah, that feels pretty good. You've always got the ability to move it around. Let's add. Actually, I'm going to put this one down. I'm going to put that one on top. So we'll do a little adhesive here. Oops. And again, I'm gonna just check. You know what, I'm a little tight. Um, I tend to do that sometimes with belly bands. I don't want them to be too loose, but you know, I don't want them to be too tight either. That's a little bit better. Okay, so once you've got that and you're happy with it, we can give those ends a nice little press so it's creased. And uh, we're gonna take our uh, thank you. No, first we're gonna put some ribbon on. Uh, this is the polished pink open weave ribbon. And let's take that. I think I've got about 12 inches of ribbon here. You can also leave it on the spool. Sometimes that's easier. Uh, but we're going to take that ribbon and we're going to tie it here on the left side of that belly band. This is just going to dress it up a little bit. I love adding ribbon. You know, I need a little bit more right there. Remember my trick in tying ribbon, don't pull this way, pull straight up and down. You're going to get a prettier bow that way. And I know, I hear from you guys that are bow challenged. I know we can we can all have our bow issues. 
but I've got some videos out there. Hopefully that'll help you not become bow challenged. So there's our pretty bow. Now we can take our sentiment and it's just going to kind of tuck right inside there. And guys, it's as simple as just putting adhesive right there. I like to tuck this down into my belly band. Kind of straighten it up. Perfect. Look at that. Boom. Great card. Place to write my message. I didn't get schmutz right there, so I'm very happy. It's just a sweet little belly band. I just think this one is so fun. All right, so I now wanna show you something that I did with this one here. So the paper that I used on this is called, uh, it's got a new name, I gotta think of it. It is perfectly penciled. So this is a leftover piece of it. Remember this piece was cut seven by eight and a quarter. Okay, so it's exactly the same as it was with the white. So this is a, just an extra piece of the paper. I'm nuts about anything black and white. But you notice my flowers are uh, colored in and I colored them in with Stampin' Blends, with the Fresh Freesia Stampin' Blends. So I thought I'd show you how I did that. And you guys, scribble, 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 scribble. I mean, you don't even have to work at this, okay? That's my dark. Then I can come in with my light, or you could do them all the same. You know, there's so much detail to these flowers that I just didn't feel the need to go in and basically spend the time doing the, uh, you know, fancy shading. I could, so what I could, let me show you right here. If I colored maybe the outside of that and then came in with the dark, I mean, you can, and it is really, really pretty. It's all about how much time you want to spend. And then you see blends do just that, blend together. So if you want, you can add some shading or you can just color them some light, some dark. But that is all I did there to create this incredible designer series paper and made it match. So I've got gorgeous grape and fresh freesia here. And uh, I have this little backing piece. By the way, this is all in the diagram. You'll have these as well. The Fresh Freesia is three, or this is three by eight and a quarter. Um, you know what? I'm not 100% sure what the size is on that. Uh, Brenda, if you've got it, if you post it there, but it's in the diagram. So, uh, and you see of this one, I just added my uh, open weave ribbon in that Fresh Freesia up at the top. I've got, of course, the room to write my message. You remember in our original card, it was white. Well, this time I decided to, it's such a light color that I can write on that easily. And uh, there's that belly band. Remember, we just cut that off. So that's how we were able to use one sheet of cardstock to create uh, the, the slim line, the base of our slim line fun fold. So I'm going to bring those back in. I'm going to see what you guys think. Oh. Lori says, so absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. So pretty. Thank you for another great card. Oh, and Dolores says, I love the bright colors and the new DSP, right? I get so excited when a new catalog comes out. And I think it's designer series paper is the first thing I run to. So I'm with you on that, Dolores. Uh, Krista says, I think Connie made a convert out of me. Uh, so far, I've resisted the slim line. Okay. Uh, I got to tell you, I feel the same way. Uh, slim lines were just not my go-to card, but I've changed that. These were really, really fun. So I loved how they came out. I hope you guys did too. You guys are sending me great, great comments. Uh, I'm so glad you guys loved it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I do want to share with you what we're going to create next week before I close. And um, I've got a gatefold card. This is going to be Thursday, May 19th, same time here on my channel. Uh, I've got a really nice congratulations card uh, with some of the new designer series paper. I believe this is called Hues of Happiness. And if you recall, uh, I guess it was last week, we created an explosion card. You guys remember our explosion card? Lots of comments that you guys uh, were making those for uh, graduation and things. Well, we're going to take it up a notch and we're going to make a gatefold explosion card. Oh, my goodness. Isn't that fun? And again, it kind of it makes its own little piece of art when it's standing up. 
Uh, I just thought, what a fun congratulations, wishing you all the happiness you can imagine. Guys, that sentiment's perfect for graduation and it's perfect for weddings. And uh, it's just perfect for baby shower, just about anything. But that explosion card, so much fun. Gatefold explosion card. Uh, I'm going to have another card for you as well, but that's as far as I got. <laughs> so join me for that one. All right, my friends. And that wraps up another card making video for uh, my YouTube live. Thank you guys so much for joining me and for your sweet comments. I sure appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I hope that you guys will be joining me um, next week as we create the gatefold explosion. I look forward to stamping with you then. Um, make it a great day and a great weekend. I'll see you guys on Tuesday. I have got another uh, fun way that you are going to be able to give the gift of cash. <laughs> we'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.